Hey everyone, this is Tyler with Analytive.com. Today I'm going to talk about setting up uh, Shopify with cross-domain tracking. Um, this is a question I get a lot, I've seen a lot of forums, and so I want to make sure that I break it down for you as simply as possible. But before we get into how, let's first ask why. Why is Shopify cross-domain tracking important? Well, let me show you a couple examples with and without uh, cross-domain tracking. Okay, so on the left we have a couple websites set up without cross-domain tracking, right? So the domain, just to be clear, is, um, you know, in our case we're using promo.adventuregear.com and then adventuregear.com, right? So those are two separate domains, right? The promo dot is what's called a subdomain, but for all intents and purposes within Google Analytics, um, it's a, a different domain. So let's see an example of what would happen. So say we were uh, buying Facebook ads for our Shopify store, okay? And over here on the left, we'll start. We don't have cross-domain tracking set up, right? Without cross-domain tracking, okay? So somebody clicks on our Facebook ad, right? And then the referral information passed through because um, we've probably tagged our links or used UTM codes, something like that. We're going to register as Facebook, right? So Facebook's going to refer traffic to our, let's say we have a landing page on this promo domain. Uh, in our case, this is built in WordPress, but it could be any platform. Okay, so first things first, Facebook sends traffic. The referral then is going to be Facebook to promo.adventuregear.com. So then what happens, they hit the landing page, they make an offer, then they go into the shopping cart. Now in our case, our shopping cart lives on adventuregear.com, which is the main site, which is Shopify. Here's the problem, right? Between this handoff here, right, promo.adventuregear.com, and this uh, collection here, right, adventuregear.com, if we don't have cross-domain tracking set up, these are going to be two very different domains with different UA numbers, the whole deal, okay? So what happens then is right here in this handoff between promo.adventuregear.com and adventuregear.com, we lose the original attribution. That means that if we go into our adventuregear.com analytics page, we're going to see a reference from promo.adventuregear.com. All reference to Facebook up here will be totally stripped out meaning that we can't track the original Facebook ad or the Facebook click. All we see is that we have uh, a referral from this promo.adventuregear.com. Now, if you're only sending one ad to the page, that's fine. But if you're doing 10, 20, 30 ads or Facebook ads and Google ads and Twitter ads and Pinterest ads and all kinds of different things, it's going to get really, really confusing, okay? So we lose the attribution right here in the handoff, okay? So then when we go down here to the actual purchase down at the very bottom, what's going to happen is that it's going to credit promo.adventuregear.com for the purchase. Again, no sign of the original Facebook reference. Okay, now let's go over here to uh, cross-domain tracking. So say that we set up cross-domain tracking properly. Here's what's going to happen. This promo.adventuregear.com and adventuregear.com are now basically one website. Google Analytics sees it as one website. It's going to pass all the information all the way through, right? So we have a Facebook reference first. It's going to go here. Then when they hit the main shopping cart, because we have cross-domain tracking set up, it's going to say that Facebook is now the referrer. And then when we actually get down here to the final purchase, the credit will go to Facebook. That is why cross-domain in, tracking is very, very important is because we want to track from initial click all the way through conversion. We don't want to lose any of that data. That's why we're going to set up cross-domain tracking. Now, let me show you how to do that. Okay, and here we are in Google Analytics. So I already set up a Google Analytics account for these two domains. Now, let me start by saying, first off, that in order to enable cross-domain tracking, both websites, the promo.adventuregear.com and adventuregear.com, are going to be using the same tracking ID, right? That's the most important part right here, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take this tracking ID, and it's going to be used across all of our websites, okay? So here we go. Now, um, so then the next step is let's open up Shopify. So in Shopify, we go to our online store, we go to preferences, Google Analytics, and we make sure that this UA code right here, okay, matches the UA code that we have back here. Again, it's the same. We put it in there. So I know then that this adventuregear.com domain is going to be tracking, okay? Now I'm going to bounce over to my promo.adventuregear.com, which is the WordPress site. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this tag right here. Uh, you could do this in a lot of different ways, depending on if you're using WordPress or Squarespace or whatever your other domain is. But we need to make sure that the tracking ID, right, this UA code right here, gets dumped 
off to uh, the new website, right? So this is now the same. So Google Analytics, the same UA code is set up on both the main domain and the subdomain. So on Shopify and on WordPress, okay? Very, very important. Effectively, that's all there is to it, right? Using the modern uh, G tag from Google Analytics. So let me show you now how this works. Okay, so I'm gonna shrink this up. So I have over here in an incognito window, an example of a landing page that we built. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is in this side of the browser, I'm gonna go ahead and open up uh, our real-time Google Analytics view right here. So we'll see what's happening on the website. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit refresh on this page and we're gonna reload it, okay? And we'll wait for it to fire over here. Okay, so first thing is it fires. Now, what you'll see very soon is that this camping chair sale, right, it pulls the second part of this domain right here. So promo.adventuregear.com camping chair sale, uh, it pulls that and it shows as a top active page and it also only says one user active on the website. Okay, perfect, exactly what we want. Now, let's uh, go here to the purchase button. We'll click on purchase. Okay, now if you notice, we switch and now we're on Shopify, right? So www.adventuregear.com. This is the Shopify website. Now we're still one user, but we've generated a new page view. Okay, so what this is telling me is that there's only one user. So cross-domain tracking is set up properly. There is one user, and it's sending both pages across both domains. Now, so if I had an ad, for example, so let me go back here. If I had an ad that I sent to this page, and then somebody clicks through to purchase, then they add to cart, and they go all the way through the checkout process like I want them to, I'm going to get proper attribution because I have cross-domain tracking set up. Now, a couple of things to note. One is if you have the same URL or the end of the URL uh, right here on multiple pages. So for example, if I had um, back on the promo.adventuregear.com, let me go back one more. If I had, you know, cart, if I had something like that, it's going to get really confusing because that information is going to be dumping into the top active page or the active pages here. And I'm not going to be able to differentiate easily whether, or excuse me, which domain it was on. There's a way I can do that. I won't cover it in this video. Um, but generally what I would say the safest way is just to make sure that you don't label any of the uh, URLs the same across either domain and you'll be set. It'll keep your life way easier. And then again, you can track the attribution all the way from the initial click through the purchase. So that is how you set up cross-domain tracking in Shopify. If you want to dig into Google Analytics more, we do have a course. I'll drop the link in the description. I think it'll be super useful for you. We cover setting up goals, setting up e-commerce, uh, Google Tag Manager, uh, installing the code, cross-domain tracking with Google Tag Manager, how to look at reports, the top reports. We do a ton of stuff. Uh, we'd love it if you check that out. You don't have to, but if this video is valuable to you and you really want to dig into the analytics, I think it might be useful. So anyway, take care. We'll talk soon. Bye.